In the early 1990s, a peculiar problem plagued the world of tomatoes. As these beloved fruits made their way from farm to fork, their once vibrant flavors seemed to fade into the background, leaving consumers longing for the taste of the tomatoes they remembered from their childhood gardens. It was a mystery that captured the attention of scientists, farmers, and tomato enthusiasts alike. Amidst this concern, a company called Calgene, nestled in the fertile valleys of California, embarked on a groundbreaking project. They teamed up with researchers from the esteemed University of California, Davis, to unravel the enigma of the vanishing tomato flavor. Together, they set out to develop a solution that would revolutionize the tomato industry. Their journey began in the laboratories, where scientists delved deep into the intricate world of plant genetics. They sought to understand the very essence of what made a tomato flavorful. For years, tomatoes had been bred to prioritize size, shape, and durability, inadvertently sacrificing their taste in the process. This prompted the question, could science bring back the forgotten flavors? In their quest for a tastier tomato, the researchers harnessed the power of genetic modification. They tinkered with the tomato's genetic blueprint, seeking to strike a delicate balance between flavor and practicality. Their ultimate goal was to create a tomato that could withstand the rigors of commercial production while still delivering a delectable burst of taste. The year was 1994 when their efforts bore fruit. The genetically modified tomato they aptly named, Flavor Saver, emerged from the laboratory, its potential to transform the industry palpable. What set this tomato apart was a gene called polygalacturonase, or PG for short. This gene, responsible for softening fruits as they ripened, was silenced within the flavor saver tomato. The result was a tomato that stayed firm for a longer time, resisting the inevitable mushiness that plagued its conventional counterparts. The flavor saver tomato promised to be a game changer. It allowed farmers to harvest tomatoes at the peak of their ripeness, knowing they would remain firm during transportation and storage. Consumers, in turn, would be able to savor the flavors reminiscent of sun-kissed gardens and heirloom varieties. The industry buzzed with excitement as the tomato received approval from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, paving the way for its commercial cultivation and consumption. Yet, the advent of the flavor saver tomato also ignited a fervent debate. Some hailed it as a triumph of science, an answer to consumer demands for both taste and convenience. Others voiced concerns about the long-term effects of genetically modified organisms. The tomato became a symbol, a catalyst for discussions on the benefits and risks associated with biotechnology in agriculture. And so, the story of the flavor saver tomato became etched in history. It marked a pivotal moment in the quest for flavor preservation in a world where convenience had often overshadowed taste. It reminded us that science, when wielded with care and consideration, had the power to redefine what we thought was possible. Looking ahead, the development of the flavor saver tomato opens up a world of possibilities in agricultural biotechnology. With further advancements in genetic modification techniques and our growing understanding of plant genetics, we can envision a future where tomatoes not only retain their natural flavor but are also tailored to meet specific preferences, such as enhanced sweetness, tanginess, or aroma. Additionally, genetic modifications could be explored to improve the nutritional content, disease resistance, and environmental sustainability of tomatoes, paving the way for a diverse array of flavors and a more resilient and resource-efficient tomato industry.